While the deadline to run for mayor in Naperville has passed, one question still remains. Whose names will be included on the ballot? Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenik has the story. One candidate may be changing up the mayoral race, but not without raising questions. Councilman Bob Fiesler filed paperwork Monday challenging the eligibility of a mayoral run for Matthew Dubiel. The owner and operator of local talk radio station AM 1530 WCKG. By throwing his hat in the ring, Dubiel triggered a primary election in February, as only four candidates are allowed on the November ballot, and he's number five. Fiesler is questioning if the area Dubiel lives in is in an unincorporated part of the city, making him ineligible for a mayoral seat. I just can't imagine that we would have in an election someone that wasn't a resident or a voter in Naperville, someone who could set tax rates and not have them apply to themselves, uh, set ordinances that potentially don't apply to themselves. It's, um, uh, the, the laws were enacted uh, for the very reason that I'm objecting. Holding a primary election adds extra costs and only narrows the field by one. The next step will be for the city's electoral board to review the case. That board will listen to the um, objection to the petition and they really have the onus to, um, to prove that that petitioner does not live in the city of Naperville in this case. Dubiel filed his nominating papers November 24th under the address of Joyce Lane in Naperville, near Book Road in 95th Street. I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. Two others have also filed a challenge against Dubiel's run for mayor. The Electoral Board will meet Monday to hear the challenges and decide whether he is eligible. If Dubiel is included on the ballot, his name will appear last, as he was the last candidate to turn in paperwork. A ballot lottery was held to determine the order of the others. First in line for the mayoral race was Doug Krause, followed by Marty Walker, James Hasselhort, Steve Cherico, and Matthew Dubiel. As for the city council race, Kevin Coyne and Joe McElroy got the top slots, with Becky Anderson and Kevin Gallagher rounding out the bottom of the list.